I start, let me ask you a question. What do you call a dinosaur with extensive vocabulary? A thesaurus. I heard that the past, present, and future walked into a room. I guess you could say that it was tense. <laughs> All right, enough with the lame jokes. Good morning, everyone. Language is an intricate and enthralling component of our lives, which without we would be unable to express our thoughts and ideas verbally. Ever since the beginning of the human race, languages have been born and have died and are constantly influencing each other. The interconnection of languages is one of the reasons why education systems nowadays are so keen on our students learning foreign languages as they increase our understanding of numerous cultures including our own. Furthermore, they encourage positive attitudes towards speakers of other languages. In other words, foreign languages make us more human. So, why should we perceive the learning of foreign languages as an intellectually stimulating and fun activity instead of a chore? I have talked to a lot of people and I'm ready to expose a common notion. If you took Kiswahili because you're passionate about it and you want to indulge yourself further in the nation's official language, that's amazing. Tia bidi, ni naimani kuwa mtapanikiwa katika siku za usoni. However, if you took Kiswahili because you didn't like the idea of learning a plethora of French vocabulary, or Spanish conjugations, I hope that this talk changes your outlook on foreign languages. I started learning Spanish when I was in grade seven in the IB middle years program. I chose Spanish because I found a certain allure to it that I couldn't quite put my finger on. Was it the passion displayed by the Spanish native speakers whenever they spoke the language in the movies? I am particularly fond of the dramatic flair that's added in exclamations they use, also known as muletillas, in expressions such as, oh, Dios mío, or que susto. The first phrase means, oh my God, and then the second one, what a surprise. Or, was I attracted to the enthralling accent? The stress that's put in the double R in words such as arriba, up, narrador, narrator, corrientemente, commonly, or in sentences such as el perro está corriendo en la calle, really got to me. The vibration is soothing, right? Like the purring of a cat. Oh, if you need a translation, I just said that the dog is running on the street. I can't point out exactly what made me take an interest in Spanish, but a few weeks into that term, I developed a passion for the language because of a TV show. If you were a frequent viewer of Disney Channel a few years ago, you might remem remember Violetta, the Argentine series that was dubbed in English, but didn't take me long to find out that the original language was actually Spanish. This was a bonus for me, as I really liked the songs that were performed by the characters. Here's an example, Euphoria. I learned all the lyrics to their songs, and I translated them to English to understand what they meant, enriching my vocabulary in the process. After a while, when I became more comfortable with the language, I watched the entire series in Spanish. By the end of those 240 episodes, my Spanish had significantly improved, which made me feel happy because I had broken through the barrier that I had created of the unfeasibility of foreign languages. 
as time passed on, I got to discover a few key benefits of learning a foreign language, which I shall share with you briefly. First, it is a certified way of improving memory as your brain's functions begin to operate better. This also makes you a better multitasker. Furthermore, being adept in a foreign language gives you a more competitive edge in the job market as most businesses nowadays compete at an international level. As time passed on, I discovered a grave error. The common mistake that students make when learning a foreign language is that they treat it like any other subject that they learn at school. A lot of people ask this question. How do you study a foreign language so that you become good at it? In my opinion, there's something wrong with this question. You don't study a foreign language, otherwise you'll never be able to speak it. Learning a foreign language helps you get more familiar with its respective culture. But did you know that you had to immerse yourself in that respective culture so that you can become more familiar with the foreign language? It's a complementary effort. Therefore, if you want to make actual progress in learning a foreign language, you need to stop constantly sticking your nose in those textbooks and get out there and find practical resources that will actually help you. Start reading children's books, and then move on to short stories, poems, and novels. And then when you feel ready, move on to magazine articles and newspaper articles. Listen to music in that target language whose genre appeals to you, so you can translate the lyrics and get the meanings. Watch TV shows or movies in that foreign language to improve your listening skills and get a better feel of how the language is spoken by native speakers. If you find it overwhelming at first, watch the TV show or movie with subtitles in that foreign language, and then drop the subtitles completely. Nonetheless, the most important thing is to practice speaking the language because you'll be using it in its natural context. Speak some sentences to the people around you, and if they understand the language, even better, because you can have conversations with them to improve your articulacy. If you find this uncomfortable, that's fine. Speak to yourself. I know it sounds strange, but it works regardless. And I openly admit that I do this often. And before I start getting any ideas, yes, I have friends. With all this said, I strongly endorse learning a foreign language because there's no better time to do so. And it's really fun once you develop a passion for it, or at least like it. As Flora Lewis once said, anytime you think some other language is strange, Remember that yours is just as strange. You're just used to it. Gracias.